YouTube, what's going on guys, it's your boy Decades, we're back, Dual Universe Episode 4, and I'm definitely going to have to make sure I do all my episodes at night, because as you can see, it's daytime here in Dual Universe, and the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, right, so that's north, that's east, south, west i don't know why this isn't over here <laughs> but i guess uh, uh 3 40 in the afternoon it's over there so maybe it's different whatever planet this on so anyway i'm i'm glad that i can see this now during the day it makes a big difference yeah this is pretty bad looking in here but yeah, i like the reflections that looks pretty good so, let's look at our craft items uh, being crafted like some components. Oh no, basic pipe. Oh man. Dang it. That was supposed to be done. That was supposed to be done. Pure carbon. Um... Uh, do I have pure carbon? How many do we need? There. Let's do that and put that above here, right? Pure carbon. That'll be those. And that's already done. Okay. Dang it. That was supposed to be done. I should have made sure I double checked that before I ended the episode earlier. Okay. Well, regardless, we now have... We now have the other... Storage container, right? Let's go inventory. Yeah, right there. Basic container. Um, I don't know where I can put that, though. That's going to look nice. wish I could move this over here maybe I can I just don't know how probably let's go into inventory let's go let's double click this okay is that build mode okay oh this is really small extra small oh wow I can just put the freaking thing like right there is out of the way right so now I can just link this from here to there now quite a build mode and we should have plenty of space in here now hmm well it's not a bunch Link a container. Step one, point your cursor at the deploy container and press the right mouse button to open up the contextual menu. Hmm, okay, so if I hit build. Yeah. It's going right. So it has... Hmm. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Where? Where's this going? Is that going? Got it. This is going there too. Ooh, I didn't realize that was coming out of the back end. <laughs> All right, can I move this? Mm, I know I can. What if? Yeah, number nine, right? there okay then number six is it still linked okay perfect okay so that gave us a little more space but again we need to go pick up our our uh, inventory I mean our large container that we ordered uh, use the move element okay 
hit escape to there we go and hide this menu control H all right so now I guess we I guess I can sell this stuff when I get over there but we need to box site right there we need that coal we don't really need right not right now so can I take some of this just a little bit of it um, oh but wait a minute hold on I forgot something that I missing components pure carbon um for what oh no 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 that's not missing okay this is going still all right got it got it got it got it and and we have this coal okay yeah we have plenty all right okay pure carbon and we have coal there all right sorry about that guys I had to pause the video so anyway um I, I, it's gonna take us a while to get over to that hub where we bought the container I'm just worried if we're gonna have enough space oh boy all right let's go let's go see um, map and Mark Haven set as destination okay we're gonna get in. Alright. Press insert key to cycle different camera views. Insert. Oh. That's kind of neat. Alright, insert. Yeah, I think I like that best. Okay, and docking is whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. And you completed a crafting process of forty basic pipes. All right. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I like how high this thing can fly above the ground. I like this. Now. I'll tell you guys what happened to me when I was flying in a hovercraft like this um, during my first attempt at getting monetized on YouTube. I was float, I was going just like this, and part of the planet disappeared, and I went down, and then the planet reappeared, and I happened to be underwater, and my ship blew up. Yeah, I think after that happened, I paused it. I think I got out of the game, and it took me about a week to come back because <laughs> it was. Um, I died, and when I died, no, my ship crashed somehow, somewhere. Anyway, I ended up having to walk back to my base, like twelve kilometers, like all this distance that you that I'm covering right now. I had to walk back to get back to my base and I just didn't feel like doing it so I ended up just quitting the game and coming back a week later when I felt like playing for a couple of hours so now I know there is a mode um, let's see control H um, I, thought I saw something about a mold Advanced control, shift H. Um, cycle cameras, toggle cruise control, alt and R. Mm. Okay, that's not it. Alt plus R. Oh, look up there. That's somebody's base. Let's see what that looks like. 
some cruise control landing gears. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's putting off some type of... Is that like some type of radio wave or something? Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Wow. Okay. I like it. Some people are really creative. Alright, so I still have no idea. I'm gonna have to look it up in the instructions. No worries. Control H. Alright. Cruise control. Cruise control didn't work. Whoa. Move the camera. I thought that was just one button I had to press in order to change the mode. Wow, look at theirs. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I did get to the point where I bought... No, I actually built my own ship. Of course, it looked like a lunchbox. But it was like huge uh, thrusters. I was able to carry a bunch a huge amount of cargo. Ooh, look over there. Is that a white building over there? Oh, that looks really nice from over here. I'm about to check that out. I like seeing people people's creativity. Oh, they cleaned this up nicely. The last time I was playing, there was just ships everywhere that had not been interacted with for a while. I mean, I would come here for, I would play the game for two weeks, and the same ship would be sitting for two weeks. Okay, so. Here we are, C, and then F. Short park time area, no piloted constructs. What did it say, after seven days? I think so. All right, what's this say? Airspace within uh, off market. What? Parking rules. Constructs must be parked outside the green perimeter lines surrounding the main building and the access map. Shop constructs, advertisements, especially these are not permitted at any market. Okay, constructs that violate these rules. Okay. Um, no circumstances that may play or construct intersect with the affair. Okay. Um, well, I won't be here long. I'm just here to pick up my stuff, bro. So back up off me. Son. Alright. Interact. Um, storage. Here we go. Come on, fit, please. No! I, no, I knew that was going to be a problem. I knew that was going to be a freaking problem. Well, I mean, I could always. How big is this? That's what I don't know. I don't know how big this is, and what I need to sell. So let's let's do sell. Um, parts. Hmm. Let's sell some coal. There. Uh, buy orders. Quantity. Uh, 
Average. So is this all I have on me? Is that what in? Let's do eight fifty. Eight hundred fifty. Okay. Now let's go back to storage. All right. Dang it. Um. Well. Let's go into crafting and see. Where. How much do we need? I only need 195, so we just need 200. Okay. So. Coal. And we can sell. Oops, instant sell. Oh, wait a minute. Sell. There. Um, I have, I need 200, so let's do 200. Okay. Get out of this inventory. And I have s oh, whoa, no, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, I have a headache. Crafting now, of course. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, it's already doing it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It was already crafting, so it had, al it had already pulled out everything that it needed as far as the coal is concerned. So I can actually sell all my coal now. So bear with me, guys, as I fumble my way through this. All right, so storage. Now will it fit? Come on, man. Pure silicon, do I need all this? Pure silicon, I don't know if I need this or not. You know what, let's do this. Create a cell order. Can't I instantly sell it? Once created, you won't be able to update or delete this order for five minutes. Okay, pure silicon. Pure. Pure silicon. There we go. Dang it. I thought they had bots that can buy this stuff. Hmm. Instant sell. One of the... Average price, zero and buy orders. Okay, so that's why it doesn't. All right. So I'm kind of out of luck. Um, ooh, how, how heavy is this? Heavy metals. 100 liters, 90 liters, 75 liters. I wish I knew how much I needed to take out. I have no idea how much this stuff cost. Um, steel product. Let's look up the market. Oops. There. Steel. There. Steel product. All. Sell orders. Buy orders. Distance 15 SU. I think that means it's off this planet, right? Price per 29. 
Wow, that's really cheap. Hmm. Okay. Not enough space in active container. Well guys, I really don't know what to do. Because this is this was my fear that I wouldn't have enough space on me to take this back. Um but I wanted my backpack to continue manufacturing. Uh, so. Hmm. This is 27 more minutes, and that's because of this. And there's no way for me to instantly sell any of these products. So I'm kind of screwed. Um, pure silicon. I don't know, man. Let, let's let's just try this. Quantity six eighty five. Uh, let's do fifty. Let's do 50. Create order. That takes them out of our inventory. Now, can I put it here? No. Okay. What about steel product? Let's do 100 at 50. Oops. There. All right. Oh, man. I don't really know what else to sell, man. Wood, brick, brick product, wood product. Let's sell this. And 75. I'm, I'm just guessing, man. I have no idea. Let's do 25. Just to get this out. I don't know if that helped or not. I wish I knew how much this thing oh inspect item does that tell me oh stack mass 14 tons mass factor hit points so I don't know what what means what um, unit mass is that it unit volume 3,000 liters information select uh, mass oh okay so I can have a total of 4,000 liters that the volume of this basic container is 3746 so that means I could have what 254 and I have 865, so I need to sell everything. I think that's what that means. Let's do this pure hydrogen. Get that out of the way. Because we can make so much of that. 200 at, I don't know, 10. Because it comes free, right? Active container, boom. Okay, so now how much do we have? Okay, we got to keep going. What else do we have a lot of? Uh, hmm. And it needs all of this. So let's get rid of this. 65. At 10. Okay, we're at 600. Let's just double check. Okay, yeah, I think we need to be down to 200. Okay, at least I think we got that figured out now. Inventory, oops, crafting. Okay, this is 
This is almost done. We have six, uh, three minutes here. Four minutes for this. And then 16 minutes for these. Hmm. Slim product. And it needs... Basic hydraulics, 9 out of 10. We're making two of those. We're making two of these. How did? Why do I only have 9 out of 10? Oh, did I take something away and it didn't get a chance to finish? Hmm. You know what? Screw this. Screw you. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. We're here. We're bringing our part back. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm selling everything. Sell it all. Dang it. Uh, instant sell. No buyers at this market. Instant sell. Yeah, so this is this is what they're talking about when they say it's dead. Or maybe I need to go to the space market and it won't be dead. Who knows? But this is going to well, we'll just do individually then. Point nine one five two. Point. Oh, it won't let me do a point. Hmm. Okay, so that's a that's a no go. Okay. Seventy. Twenty. There. Somebody can take it. Somebody can have it. Twenty. There. They can have it. We just want our parts. We can always remake that stuff. I can put everything in place and have it done by tomorrow. Um, what do we have? Nine. Okay, 140. Let's do 60 for those. I have no idea how much they cost. I'm just doing it. Oh, wait a minute. How much place do we have? No, still got some more. What's our largest? Let's do this one. 90. 50. Or are we? 228. 228. There it is. There it is. We got our part. Okay. What can we bring back? Nope. 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 <laughs> Nah, that's right. I forgot we couldn't we couldn't bring that back even if we wanted to. Okay, so anyway, we got our part. That's all I wanted. Let's go home. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's going to be a lot slower now. I forgot about that. But I was interested in seeing these white homes over here. These white buildings. This looks really sweet. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. Look at those. Holy smokes. Are those ships? Oh, 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 oh man, look at that thing. Wow. Wow. 
Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's go home. Put our new container in. We're going to have lots of storage now. Whoa. Oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to start my timer. Also, let's go here. Uh, where's my house? <laughs> Set destination. Okay. I'm glad I set the destination. I was going the wrong way. Alright. So. Cruise mode. I really want to know how to put cruise mode in. Let's do. Let's do this. And controls. What is cruise mode? Or, or mode. I think I thought I saw something that said change mode. Market wallet. Camera change control mode. Alt plus R, right alt plus R, okay. Uh right alt plus R. No. Alt plus R. What is this? Performance overlay. I don't want a performance overlay. Get out of here. There. I'll do that. Um, does it go faster than this? Wow. Look at that. But wait a minute. Do I want to take that kind of chance? Okay. Hold on. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think 100 is good. 130. So all I need is to crash and die with my brand new spiffy large container that I'm so proud of. Ooh, that looks oh I think I saw that house. Yeah, I think we saw that base. Oh no, we're here, yeah, that's it. Nice. So I wonder do they have I keep I keep seeing I'm looking up different questions that I have about the game like how to buy um ships um do they have like what whoa 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 like what Imperion has player made ships like a workshop So I want to know how I can get to that workshop and potentially buy player made ships because I remember buying ships that were in this game that were made by the game I, I guess made by the the, 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 develop, the developers and they flew for crap they were absolute crap and I ended up building my own ship and it actually flew very well you know I had to look up a bunch of information in order to know how to do it because I, I tried to build it on my own you know me I like to learn on my own and oh that was it was painful but once I looked it up, it, it took like maybe five minutes worth of reading. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I was able to build my own little ugly ship. But it served me very well. Very, very well. It was super fast. I mean, fully loaded. It would only take me two minutes to get to and from my exchange or the place where I just left. I don't know what that's really called. I don't know if that's an exchange or not. But it was super fast. But wow, this is empty. Like, when I was playing before, 
there were bases everywhere everywhere and now this is really really empty although when I went to claim my area a lot of the area that I, w I wanted it was taken so I don't know if people have you know claimed their area and they're just waiting on the game to improve or something before they come back but A lot of a lot of areas was taken. So okay, so we're almost there. Three point eight. I would speed along, but I just don't want to take that chance. So I was reading on Dual Universe's website and they're making some drastic changes to the schematics and something about copies and every time that you manufacture something it takes copies and you can buy batches of copies but yet not all things even require a schematic. I'm, I'm thinking the basic model, let's say like the basic um, containers. I, I, don't, I don't know if they require schematics based on what I was reading um, but I think that's incorrect because my the extra small that I built in my backpack said it required a uh, schematic so I don't know if they're planning on updating that or if they've already changed it since what I was reading on their website I don't know if they've already changed it but they're saying certain things won't require schematics I don't understand exactly what they were complaining they were saying that before they imp imp implemented the uh, schematics restrictions that the dual universe community wasn't like talking with one another they weren't it, it, they weren't seeing the type of player interaction that they wanted to see so basically they're trying to force people to interact with one another and you know my thought process is this I'm like I if if I'm a solo player and the only thing I want to do is just be the backbone of the industry, then trying to make me talk with other players is not going to work, bro. I just go to a different game, right? Um, but I understand that's how they wanted their game. But with those restrictions came the loss of their people, right? Of their, the customer base. You can You can have this idea of what you want, but if it's not going to work, bro... And you have nothing but complaints from the people that's paying to play your game, then you might want to reevaluate what you think you need. Okay, ho, ho, ho. Wait a second. Alright, so let's go travel cruise. Con okay, there we go. What happened here? Oh, is that my crash ship? My crashed. Oh, that's what that is. Why is it? Whoa, you're not allowed to dock to this construct. Oh, is it because I have automatic docking on? Is that why I was getting all of those, uh, like that radio frequency stuff coming from those other bases? Hmm, interesting. There we are. Okay, down a little bit, right about there. And we are out. Perfect. So, our very first large container. I like it. We're going to put it right here. Inventory. Boom, baby. All right, we're gonna do build mode number one. Whoa, thing's huge. I wonder it took up so much space. Boom, baby, that's awesome. All right. Have our first container. 
<laughs> I like it. I like it. I wonder can I have put that down here underneath it? Alright, let's try that. Um, nope. Don't want to do that, buddy. Let's do move. Nine. Boom. Can we put it down here? Why can't I? What does it tell me? You cannot deploy voxel elements outside the build zone. Oh, okay. Because it was outside the build zone. Okay, got it. Well. Hmm. Oh, maybe if I put it over here, back this way some. There. And then what I want to do is link it. Number six. I'm going to go here. We're going to go all the way to there. Oh, I wonder. Delete link. I'll link this to... Just make sure, I want to make sure this linked there. Okay, perfect. Alright. Now how much space we have. Ooh! <laughs> sexy, sexy now. Look at all that. We're going to bring all that over here. Yep. Bring all you over there. Look at all that sexiness. All that space. What? How about this? You move basic. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now, if I want to... I can link to this somehow, right? Hmm... Container hub, right? Or do I have to man? Or do I link to an actual container like this? No. Um, remove dynamic properties shows. Um, hmm. I see a link there. A link button there. I don't see. The ability, or do I just hit I and dang it? How do I do that? Hmm. Claim for. Okay, the H tells you what each individual item is. Oh, okay. Okay, look um look at the container and press right mode to open the contextual and choose declare as linked container and access Oh, look at the container and press right mouse button, okay. Right mouse button. Ah, oh, look at your boy. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. All right, let's go in here. Can I do it to this hub? Select, uh, set as linked container. Boom, baby. Yeah, boom, baby. You just declare a container as a linked container. Uh, you can set your linked container as your default inventory container. So one, press I, key the inventory, press, yeah, press the link icon to, okay, I. Okay, set linked container as default container. Boom, baby. <laughs> okay, so we have our containers. We've expanded. We've expanded our inventory. We're doing big things in life right now, son. Big things right there. Big things. Look at all this space. All right. 
So, next is, well, we wanted to build two more of these. But what we need, really need to do is expand this. Um, we need to come up with another. Because we can put those two miners, one here and one there, and we can just stack another container on top of this one, I guess, when, when the time comes. So, what do we need? How much, what do we have in inventory? Oh, why am I not saying anything? Oh, there we are. Hmm. And we want a white mat concrete, right? Okay, so let's go to craft. No, we won't need any of that. White mat um. Okay, so matte white. How is that? Okay, matte white concrete. Matte white concrete. All right, this is what we need here. Um, pure calcium. What? Matte white concrete. Oh, white, matte white brick. That's what we wanted. Okay. I'm like, I don't remember needing all that. <laughs> well, I don't need, I don't remember that at all. Alright, so we need a thousand of these now. Alright, so. 35 minutes. Goodness gracious, man. Now, well, wait a minute. Let's how um, assembly to do these we need all oh, refiner is what we need refiner medium refiner medium basic refiner medium craftable in add to queue Requires an industry unit to be crafted. Requires an industry unit to be crafted. Craftable in basic assembly line M. Okay, so I was right with the assembly. Basic assembly line M. Re um, requires an industry unit to be crafted. industry unit craftable in basic assembly line okay industry unit mm, basic uh, basic metalworks industry requires an industry unit Industry, advanced chemical, advanced electronic industry. Requires an industry unit. What does that mean? Uncommon assembly line medium. Basic industry, right here. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I have to go start with small then. Um, maybe a small one? 
No. Okay. Let's start over. Let's start all the way back over. Matt. Matt White Brick. Okay, which requires these right here. Basic refiner. Uncommon refiner. Okay, refiner. We just need a basic refiner. M. Requires an industry unit to be crafted. What is an industry unit? Tier 1 M element schematic copy. Okay. Industry units are used to craft advanced and more powerful and powerful items. They can only be used on static constructs. Refiners are used to refine ores into currently inactive containers. Zero. Select a schematic and add it to the crafting queue. Okay. So craftable in basic assembly line M. Basic refiner. Basic refiner. Assembly line. Okay. Basic assembly line M. Ah, there's a small. Oh. Oh, so. I think I have to have one of these to build one of those. Yes, that's what it is. Basic assembly line M. Craftable N. Basic assembly line S. Okay. All right. So we need one of these first. Basic assembly lines. That's what we need. All right. Small. We need one of these. Boom, baby. Now we need to just make all these. <laughs> all right. Uh, we need how many of these? Ten. That up there. This needs steel products. Steel products, we need ten. Okay. We just need to do one. Do this up here. Make sure we do that right this time. Okay, pure iron. We need a hundred. Okay. Pure carbon. Okay. Let's do this. And then this. That's going to create this. And then that. It's going to create these. Okay, that'll create this. Now, basic power systems. We need five of these. All right. Basic power system. There. We already have these. Basic connectors. We need 20. So we need. Okay. Basic connector. Boom. We already have everything we need. Right there. All right, so that that takes care of the basic power system. Now, basic mobile panel S. Uh, we need one of these. That needs those, which we already have. We need five more basic screws. So we have 10 up there. Well, we're going to make 10 more, bro. We need seven, uh, 10 of these, and we're going to have 75, so we're going to have plenty. So we'll take that up here, because it's going to need the screws. Perfect. 
then we have that. We need some one of these. We get out of the way. Can't see that. I think it's one. Yep. One of those. Add here. Yeah, we need eleven of these. We're gonna have and this is steel product. We're gonna have plenty. We're gonna have seventy-five of these. So we'll have this. But I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna make sure when this is done that this is met. Let's do this. Yeah. Because that's going to complete the pure carbon requirement. And then it'll go a lot faster. Also, my my talents, I've put most... I, I haven't used not even half of the allocated points that I have. Because I've wanted to be really picky with what I was going to select. Um, so we'll let this run, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, mining and inventory. And... Um, yeah, we need to do crafting and industry. But look, we have, look at this, I have 261 days lined up. If you go to crafting, I haven't done any of anything in here. Go to industry, though. Ooh, nothing in there either, but this I have. I got 100%, 80, 48, 80, 84, look at that. And it's going to take 200 days to do this. But I guess I can speed it up by spending some of these um, for instance industry um, assembly proficiency refinery proficiency I don't need combat assembly efficiency I have so many and look at this man I have a lot piloting hover engine pilot Hover engine thrust control. That's crazy. Rocket uh, space engine technician. Wow. I saw a rocket scientist down here. Hmm. But yeah, there's so much. Uh, crafting. Basic ore refining. Basic pure refinery efficiency. So let's go ahead and train these. Use up some of my points that I have. Put that in queue. I never go I this that's that jump from like seventy five to three seventy five, I just put the last one into the queue. And then this one, I'll do the same thing. Train it. Train it. Carbon oil, because we're going to need these. And then with this one, I put into the queue. That one, queue. Aluminum ore, there we go. So, because to me, I can do, I can spread out the talent, the talent points a lot more when you leave this this high one here you just train that one um, over time because these when you do train talent and confirm you're paying the points to get this instantly trained and so you're instantly better see I mean, now we have 80% um, basic pure productivity basic product product refining so we're gonna do all basic and get that all done See, I wish I could just do, instead of having to do each one of these, I wish you can highlight the, the top and then go, right? And it go in, in this take and does it all throughout the entire category. That would be awesome.
Then here, boom. Coupon. I'm sorry, they're here. Total talent points used are here. Total uh, points available are here. So I have quite a few. But I'm just picky with how I spend them. Because I anything that I see I really need to improve on, I can just run here and boost up my talents. Because I have so many points left. So that's done, that's done, and that's done. Perfect. So we have basic ore refining done. Basic pure productivity. Basic product refining. Yeah, so we're going to do all of these. And then sometimes you have to complete one category before you can even go into upgrading another category. Yeah, that's huge. That's that's so many points, man. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Jeez. Yeah, they can just mine that. I mean, do it over time. Look at this, three hundred seven days. It's almost a year from now before before all this is done. But it will be over a year when I get done adding all these. Watch how this jumps. <laughs> that added six days. That's seven hundred and fifty thousand. Watch. But it'd be three eighteen. Three nineteen. Oof. Okay, that's done. Now let's do this one. All right. Train. Okay, almost done, guys. And then we'll check on our crafting. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we uh, figured out how to uh, link up to the containers. That's awesome. Where are we? 342 days. <laughs> almost a year, son. That's crazy. basic product all right there we go I'll leave these because I don't really know when we're gonna move into all this advanced and rare and exotic don't know anything about that a building product honeycomb refining building product honeycomb productivity basic pure honeycomb yeah I think this we're gonna need these the basics Iron honeycomb refining. Ooh. I can't I can't do this. Prerequisites. Basic pure. Basic pure honeycomb efficiency. This one. See, I was this is what I'm just talking about. So now in order to tra train this at all, we have to go up here and spend 375 to train this. Now we can come down and we can drain this one. Sometimes you have to train that last one in order to be able to start training the others. Um, productivity, same thing. Wouldn't be surprised if it happens again on here when I get down to the iron. Oh, 
Oops. There. Okay, perfect. Glad we didn't have to spin all those points. Okay, so we have one, two... Yeah, we only have two more to do. So this way, guys, my, my thought is I would rather have 80% of 50 different skill sets than 100% of five different skill sets. That's how significant these this look, this price is, right? You stop at 225, 225. Look, you could do what four more of these before you hit this. Just saying, five more. Anyway, um, that's the lesson that I learned when I first started doing this. It was like, man, those points disappeared quick, and then I started noticing how huge of a gap it was to become a master at just one level. So, do this and just let it do over time. There we go. All right, last one, guys. And something else I wish they would do, if they, if they can't make it where you can just hit the very top of the drop down and master the ones you want and then put this one here, if they're not going to do that, at least they should let you, let's say, you click in here, click this one, and then hit talent locked, uh, talent unlocked, or train talent, this one here. If you do this one, you should be able to click this, and it'll do from this one back all at the same time, right? Instead of having to do this, 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 that's a mess of pain. That, that doesn't make it, uh, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Basic scrap refining? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. Exotic scrap? Hmm. Didn't know that was a thing, bro. Didn't know it was a thing. I'm gonna leave that be. This item current crafting lacks some components. Yep, that's what I was waiting on. Basic connectors. That needs to be up here. Yep. So somehow, I screwed that up too. So all that time when I was sitting there doing that, this was just sitting paused. Man, I swear I made sure everything was put where it was supposed to be, but oh well. Okay. So this is done. Well, we, we still have 20 minutes for that, so. Now, we need two more of these. Outpost mining unit. Um, oops. Mining. Rare mining unit, space mine. Ooh, wait a minute. Exotic mining unit. Whoa. Whoa. So it has to be craftable in rare assembly line. Dang it. That's what I'm talking about. I want one of these. I want one of those. Basic assembly line large. So that's what we have to do. Yeah, we, we need to get this done. Basic assembly line in order to, to then build the medium. Then we got to do the medium to build the large. It's like the craziest thing ever. Yeah, these kind of suck. Um, hit points. Unit volume, unit mass. Uh, um... I wish they told you the difference between this one and this one. Just hit points is all it tells you. It doesn't tell you unit volume, unit mass. It doesn't tell you like the capabilities of this thing. Like why build this over this one? 
how much more ore is it going to mine us right and then this one why go from basic to exotic and what's the difference between the rare and the space mining uncommon mining unit I wish there was more information on them hmm um, did I do basic mining unit as elements are the basic building blocks of your okay but it doesn't tell me what it's capable of hmm Okay, well, we have, what, 18 more minutes? I'll go ahead and pause the video, let that complete, and then we'll, play the, we'll put a plan of action together for getting two more of these miners, auto miners. I really want something better than that, though. So we'll get the, the small assembly line put in, put in, and then from there, we'll keep going to see if it's possible for us to get up to a large assembly line to then manufacture two large auto miners that'll be ideal so we'll be back all right guys so oh it's getting dark so that you know it's time for me to stop um it is 1 a.m in the morning here eastern standard time and it's starting to get dark here as you can see the sun's going so it's only a matter of time before it gets super dark here anyway so go into inventory and we have the basic assembly line now what I have crafting already these are all the components necessary and I've double checked triple checked make sure they were in the order they needed to be in this is everything to then build the basic assembly line okay and what we're gonna want to do we're gonna want to build four of these and these four are going to pull from the containers where all four of the refiners or the auto miners are going to be putting their ores into right so we can just be constantly making those ingots okay so that's done let's go ahead and put that down see how big this thing is um, get rid of this and build mode okay now rotate how do I rotate this thing what is that okay this isn't rotating eight no um hmm okay Placing an item, how do I rotate it? it? Doesn't say. All right, well, let's do here. How do you rotate an item? Where's build menu? Navigation, tools, features, build mode. Mood, copy, paste. How do you rotate it? Flip or rotate? Plus mouse wheel. Also, oh, it's R plus mouse wheel. There we go. Okay. So we can go here. Perfect. Get rid of that. Come down. Okay. Set assembly line. To work properly, an industry unit needs to be linked to an input container. Um, select the link tool. Point your cursor to input. Yep, yep, yep. Point your cursor to the assembly line. Okay, point your cursor at the item containers and press the left button. Okay, and press the line. Okay. It could be the same container, though. I remember that. Okay, to our industry. 
link tool. We want to go from here. That's right. From here to... Can I get out, please? To here. And then... Incompatible plug type. What do you mean? Okay. And then from there... Back to here. No. Can't do that, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Incompatible plug type. So it's pulling from there. Okay. No worries. Because what does that mean? We just need to build a small container again. Let's see. You don't have the necessary talents to use this element. Uh, say that again. Oh, but we're about to get the necessary talents. Excuse you. Okay. Uh, let's go. Um, what am I thinking? Oh, okay, talents right here. Okay. Now, we don't have the necessary talents. Really. Okay. All right. That was the assembly line. Assembly efficiency. Assembly handling. Uh, assembly. Was that a small? That's industrial. Industry. Chemical. Metal working. Glass. Electronics. Nope. Chemical. Nope. Yeah, I think we just need those. Industry proficiency and uh, refinery assembly. Okay. Yeah, so extra small. Yeah, uh huh. Who doesn't have the skill set? See, this is why I didn't want to um, use up all my skill points, guys, because I didn't know when something like that would happen. Didn't know if it, I didn't know that could happen, to be honest with you. Basic, basic assembly line. All right, let's try this again. Oops. Um, where is my talents? F two. Assembly small. Hmm. I don't. I wish now for me again. It needs to be a little bit more informative. Um, when you click, when you go up and you hit F, and it says you don't have the necessary talents, there should be a button that pops up and says "Train Talents," and it should tell you exactly what talents you need to train, right? Because like right now, I'm just shooting in the dark. It's an assembly line, so I'm like. What am I supposed to train, right? But I know it's a small, right? So we have to do extra small and small. But while I'm here, I might as well do them all. Because I, that's, that's the plan. I'm going to have all these different machines running. That's the plan anyway. I don't know what these new schematic requirements. I don't really know how that, that's all going to work. Um, furniture industry and infrastructure element industry efficiency. Basic. Right now, that's fine. We, we are basic people. <laughs> that's all I am right now. I'm just basic. All this other stuff is not necessary yet. Piloting systems, element industry, basic. Okay. 
industry proficiency, chemical, 3D glass, electronics, assembly proficiency. There. This is probably it here. And after all this, if it still tells me I don't have the talent, then we don't have a problem. Because I don't really know what else we need to train. Because this is all that makes sense to me. Is in the, in the industry area of the train menu. I don't. None of this other stuff makes any. Oh, maybe crafting. I'll have to look in there. Okay, refinery proficiency, refinery, smelter, recycling. Yeah, no, I didn't train the other uh, class talent. Nah, I um, don't need it right now. Look at this, we almost have two years. <laughs> Uh, two years with the training talents, bro. Can I purchase this talent? All right. Don't tell me what I can't do. Crafting, basic productivity. Yeah, we did all that. Basic. Um, basic. Yep, we did all this. Okay, so we should be good. There we are. We were able to do it. All right. F. No active schematic. Please select one in the schematics tab. All right. Um, schematic bank. Huh. So, containers, configuration. Schematic to see its details. Okay. We're going to need a line. Show available productions only. There it is. Um. Industry units are used to craft, and this is a basic assembly line medium. Apply. There it is. Connect that container using this link. Input, output. Connect a container using the link tool. Okay. Yeah, we know that. We, we got to put it. We got to put another container in here, bro. Just ease up. Ease up. Okay, yep, so that's good that we were able to link this. I mean, get this up and running with the schematic that I don't know where it pulled it from, but works for me. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, let me, oh, hold on. We got to... Let's get rid of that there. Mm, no, we need to there come over here into our crafting. Basic assembly line. Nope. That's not what we need. We need a container. No, basic, basic container, um, medium, basic assembly line, medium container, small containers, there we go, basic container, small, nope, basic container,
extra small. There. That's what we need. Mm, oh, look at this. The item currently being crafted lacks some of the steel product. Interesting. Okay, then. Steel product, the iron. Okay, and hit this. So yeah, I definitely got to keep an eye on this. Because I don't really know what I, I know I had these up here. I don't know if this thing reorders it somehow. I don't know. Okay, and this needs basic hydraulics, five of those. And one of these. Okay, and those need steel products, which are being made now, and basic pipes. Oops, and that needs to be here. Okay. Okay, and this needs to be up there. Perfect. So, basic reinforced, small, medium. All right. That all works. Mm, needs to be up here. That needs to be down there. This needs basic pipes. So basic pipes needs to be above this. That needs... Okay, we have that. Steel product. Okay, we have that. Okay. And then this. Alright, 105 minutes. Alright. So, this will... This will be everything we need in order to produce the medium assembly line and to produce another container which we will put over there. What can I put it on top of it? Hmm. Don't know. Well, we'll put it next to it or something. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then what we need to do is have a bunch more of this so I can add to it. So, matte white concrete. Matte white. Matte white concrete. No, we need matte white brick though. That's what we need. And we need like. Yeah, we need like 100 of that. Let's do 50. Five thousand. Okay, we need five thousand liters of this. Let's do. Yeah, there we go. Seventy-five. Okay, and pure aluminum. We need, what, a hundred of these? Hmm. No, 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 we don't need that much. 4,500, no, 95. 425, no. 85, 38, that'll work. Wow, we need a lot of bauxite, which we don't have. Uh, but it's down at the bottom, so we'll put it here. Put it there. Um, pure aluminum and pure silicon. Mm-hmm. We'll add 
that up there. Quartz and bauxite. and bauxite. We already have the oxygen. Okay. So let's go check on these freaking things. Efficiency 93%. So, calibrate. I don't like this. I don't like that you have to continue redoing this. Once you have it calibrated, you should just be able to forget it. hundred percent so why does this only say 85 of 135 production rate is that an hour that's horrible and you allows you to my own makes me to activate the drop on the batches let's select or type in the linked output container every hour it needs to be placed close to the ground and with direct access to it. Hmm. That's 46.50 and this one is 40, 50. Okay, so this doesn't need to be calibrated, right? Running box site. Yeah, this one's good. Okay. Yeah, I think you should have to only calibrate these once, and that's it. I think having to come back every couple of days is ridiculous. They, they need to get rid of that. That's a pain. Or give us the option to turn that, that, that off. That's one of the reasons why I usually avoid games where you have to micromanage. Mm, no, that's a headache. No thanks. I had kids. I had enough headaches. <laughs> I don't need any more of those. Okay, so... And this doesn't eat up any power or anything, right? No, because I, I, we don't have to deal with that. Okay, perfect. And let's check the crafting. We only lack some components. Again, how's that, how's that a thing? Pure iron. Well, unless I did something else that took the iron... Oh, maybe I did. Pure carbon. Maybe I did. Do something that took the um, carbon. I mean the iron. Maybe it was the assembly line. And I forgot about it. But that's why I wanted to continue checking this. Just to make sure. Five hours to complete all this. Alright guys, anyway, this is your boy Dead Case putting in that work. It's another episode, du uh, Dual Universe, and we're going to continue um, expanding because I want to be able to get a nice big hauler and start taking tons of ore and different things like that to the space exchange and selling it and making our money. And uh, I. 
I started watching a couple of videos on player ships, and you guys are talented, man. I've seen some ships that rival the ships um, that I'm seeing on Imperion Galactic. You know, the, the crazy skills, guys, crazy skills. So, until next episode, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. Um, my my uh, subscriber count on the YouTube channel is now on display. I'm at like 200, 210 or something like that. So that's awesome. I appreciate you guys. Let's me know that some of you guys like my comment, uh, my content. That, that means a lot. You guys have a phenomenal day. Keep it positive, positive energy, positive attitude, positive circle. Anybody negative in that circle, kick them out. It's your boy. And I'm out.